Y'all, I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but something about this week has got me just really wanting to trash Alabama. So let's do it. Every Southerner knows we all got that other Southern state that we point to whenever our own state is engaging in some embarrassing dumbassery, as we are wont to do, and say, hey, at least we ain't their sorry asses. Am I right? And for myself and most other Tennesseans, that state is and always has been Alabama. I feel like for all the negative stereotypes about the South, Alabama just takes it one step further. You know, like Southerners, many of us, yeah, we got a racist mammal. We do. Alabama elected theirs governor, y'all. She got a blackface section on her Wikipedia page. You ought not have one of them. But in Alabama, it's a prerequisite for a viable gubernatorial candidate. That's just how they are. After all, this is the state that looked at the proud Southern tradition of barbecue sauce and said, yeah, it's all right. We better feels white, though. One of Alabama's nicknames is the Heart of Dixie, which I actually think makes sense when you consider that if the South was a person, it would be the type of person you would look at in the grocery store and think, they about to have a massive heart attack. That old boy's heart is not doing well right now. I'm just saying if the South ever ends up sprawled out on that table, it's going to be Alabama they hook the paddles to. Okay, what else do people know about Alabama? That NASA got a center in Huntsville. I assume NASA put that there because they were like, listen, we need to put this facility in a location which will inspire everyone who works there to want to get as far away from this planet as humanly possible. And Alabama's like, we got just the place, buddy. What else do people know about Alabama? I think it's highly appropriate that for many Americans, if you ask them, hey, who do you think of when I say Alabama? Their first answer would be a fictional simpleton. Alabama's reputation is so bad that when Forrest Gump first came out, I bet there was people in California couldn't even tell he was mentally handicapped. They were talking about it the next day like, oh, it's this amazing film about a, about a completely typical Alabama man. All right, but there's at least one other thing people think of when they think of Alabama, and I'll explain it like this. You know, uh, in the state of Alabama, the words roll tide can mean anything from good morning to I'm sorry your father died. But on the internet, the words roll tide means somebody just brought up pork and their sister. That's right, incest comes up online. They don't say go dogs. They don't sing Rocky Top. They say roll tide. I think there's a reason for that. Of course, Roll Tide comes from the thing Alabama's most known for, college football. I think it's one of life's greatest ironies that the thing Alabama is far and away the best at has an even ancillary relationship to higher education. Yes, to me, the mental image of a Alabama tech school dropout going on a drunken tirade about commie professors brainwashing our youth while bedecked head to toe in University of Alabama paraphernalia Sort of sums up my feelings on their whole situation. Love y'all. She wig, YouTube. What's up? That's a little different. Uh, I don't know how that's going to go, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, go Vols and uh, love y'all. And I'm going to put up the squares and the circles and uh, su subscribe to the channel. Watch another one of my videos. Uh, and also, please click the link to come see me if I'm coming near where you're going to be. Because I would appreciate it either way. Keep coming back, and I will too. Love you. Bye.